This is Sandeep Anand with Sand Compounding. Uh, there is a very interesting concept that's building up uh, and you would have heard this in multiple areas. This was first uh, brought in by uh, Warren Buffett during 2017 Berkshire Hathaway meeting. He spoke about you know how the world capital markets is transforming the world is transforming uh, with respect to the investment thesis is transforming uh, because uh, the world is moving more and more towards capital light or asset light business models uh, with technology being there and the new age technologies like cloud and AI being there uh, you people really don't need too much capital to uh, set up the businesses and uh, do not need too much of uh, investments in big assets like the industrial age where you need to buy the plans and they set up the uh, properties and buildings and machines and things like that so it is becoming uh, easy to scale up for uh, companies just the way uh, many of the firms like Amazon Alibaba did I have created a small uh, snippet or presentation just to understand uh, where it is headed to and precisely that's why I've started this website of sand company because gone are the days where uh, people depend on and uh, assess the valuations with uh, respect to the capital intensiveness uh, and uh, when there is not too much of capital needs and when the companies can scale off uh, so well uh, you know using technology uh, there is there is a need to look at these firms how uh, i mean from a valuation as well as from a futuristic standpoint how they will uh, how big they will become in the life cycle uh, some of these firms are in uh, just the beginning some of them are well into the midway of their life cycle of uh, growth uh, and maturity so let's get into the details and see what i uh, what i'm trying to say so five out of 10 public companies in us by market cap uh, requires very less capital to grow the top five are apple uh, Microsoft, Amazon, Google, and Facebook. Uh, none of them require huge capitals to grow or scale up uh, beyond a point. Four out of 10 public companies in China by market cap requires very less capital to grow. Maybe uh, none of these are listed in China, although these four would be easily falling into the top 10 public companies. Um, uh, all four are listed in either Hong Kong or US. So starting with Tencent, uh, Alibaba, Baidu, JD, none of them require too much capital to grow. Now, uh, Buffett, as I said, you know, uh, was the first to bring this concept out in Berkshire Hathaway conference. And to quote unquote him, he says, and if you take those five companies in US, essentially you could run them with no equity capital at all. Buffett said, you literally don't need any money to run uh, these five companies that are collectively worth more than $2.5 trillion. That's a whopping figure, uh, almost equivalent to a GDP of many nations. Now that is a different world than what existed in the past, as he said, um, you know, comparing the capital light nature of technology and internet companies to the erstwhile capital intensive industrial and steel and energy businesses that he invested early in his career. And uh, so, um, you know, it's, it's oh, so much better uh, if you have, uh, happen to be good at it. So uh, the key mes messages that we need to take away as investors when we uh, do the analysis is, you know, you need to evaluate where capital markets are headed to. What is the relevance of new economy companies and with, uh, with respect to old ratios of calculating returns on capital alone and understanding the dynamics of business from valuation standpoint? Scalability is really rapid for these technology companies, internet companies, and a massive adoption by of the users uh, enable them to achieve the economic uh, scale of economy uh, very quickly. But at the same time, the average life cycle also tend to uh, compress uh, and uh, it, it will fast deplete uh, in aging compared to the industrial businesses because, uh, you know, the disruptions are too heavy, too fast in the technology uh, uh, life cycle. And so the life cycle is something we have to understand, you know, some of the companies scale up very fast, they achieve valuation very fast and then starts uh, maturing or even die out at some mid midpoint of view. These are stocks uh, that have proved to be great investment ideas in terms of returns. Uh, we cannot really value them just like you know the you know the normal way of price to earnings or uh, you should just look at um, returns on capital. But rather we should look at multiple other aspects of um, the user base, uh, how they are building uh, platforms and capitalizing on what they have. Like Amazon, you know it really capitalizes a user base and uh, extending in the cloud technologies to move into. Other areas right and it's slowly now getting into the edge with advertising 
now alibaba is another example so the facebook is another example these are many for there are many firms the new age technology firms and it's more and more coming up these are the standard biggies but there are hundreds and hundreds of uh, small uh, to medium sized companies that are coming up which really require no capital at all to grow and they they can achieve the scale and size and establish that network and competitive advantages very quickly so there is a merit in evaluating such firms in with that angle and uh, especially when they have good competitive advantages here is an example of facebook right like this is a balance sheet uh, broken down some key factors on the asset side so you look at um, you know the uh, total cash which is 10 billion dollar in 2018 uh, balance sheet which forms 18% of the total sales uh, property and equipment is 24.7 billion dollars which forms around roughly 45 44% of the revenue and account receivables at 7.58 billion which uh, you know is around 13.5 percentage of revenue total capital assets itself is 75% of 2018 re total revenue now spontaneous liabilities or immediate payables is like um, 7 billion dollars which forms around 12.5 percentage of the total revenue what is the net capital used uh, is uh, you know only 63% of the revenue now total sales which is 55.8 billion dollars and total capital is um, 63 percentage of uh, the total revenue now you see that in 2018 the operating income margin was 45% which would mean around uh, you know if you translate that approximately right 70% return on invested capital now operating margin being 45% is significant for a firm which has low capital needs and that's why you see the capital returns I mean, returns on the capital quite high at 70% right and um, the net capital used is only 60% half of the 2018 revenue one year revenue and that's why you know uh, facebook we can say that they need very less capital to grow and any additional million users that they add to their platform will uh, will not need commensurate amount of capital uh, which can be attributed and and the growth can be attributed to the scale of economies and network effects so this is this is uh, i hope this uh, substantiates what my point is like you know uh, or rather this is a, a most important concept brought in by warren buffett and it's worthwhile to have a uh, understanding of this when we do the valuations of the firms